What's up, collective? How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? <laughs> what y'all got going on? Excuse me if I sound a little stuffy, y'all. I'm going to be real with y'all. My allergies is kicking my behind right now. And I was like underneath the air. So I think I got a little cold on top of that. That ain't nobody fault but mine. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. Let's get into the messages. This is your wee hours tea. All right. Whenever you come across this is when it may resonate with you. All right. Take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there. Don't force it if it's not your message. Take only what resonates with you. All right, collective. Let's get into it. Let's see what's going on with y'all. Let's see what's in the energy. Flip and bounce the rules as you see fit. Apply the genders as you see fit as well. Keep in mind, we all have masculine and feminine energy. All right, collective. Let's see what's going on with y'all. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my divine collective? What is it that they need to know? Allow me to see things clearly. Please block out any negative energies. Not to interfere with the accuracy or the delivery of this message. What messages do you have for the divine collective at this time, Holy Spirit? What messages do you have for my divine collective? What is it that they need to know? Allow me to see things clearly, please, and thank you. Cover showed me as I channel this energy. Okay, we got the three of coins in the reverse, the pentacles reverse, the high priestess in the reverse, okay, and the page of cups. All right, y'all, the emperor in the reverse. King of wands here. Somebody here is a fucking asshole, okay? <laughs> Whoever this emperor in the reverse is, this is an asshole. This is a karmic, distorted, masculine energy. This could be a boss that ain't shit. This could be a father figure that ain't shit. This is a distorted energy here. Whoever you are collective, you showing up as the queen of pentacles. Queen of pentacles, you got a lot of passion in your life, okay? Um, be mindful of somebody here, like, wanting to come towards you as if they love you, but this person is just wanting to sleep with you. This person could be a Taurus or a Scorpio. They could have Taurus or Scorpio in their chart. You could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You could have Earth in your chart. You could have Libra in your chart. You showing up as the Queen of Pentacles, Justice. There's somebody here that's wanting to come towards you, but it's like passion. That's it. It's just, it's just passion. It's just sex. It's just a good time. This is somebody that's non-committal. Yeah, Knight of Wands. This is somebody that just want to come in and sleep with you. So be mindful of that, okay? Be mindful of this Scorpio, this Taurus, whoever the fuck this is. Be mindful of this person wanting to come in and have some, like, passion with you. Like, this person wants to, like, fuck on you. Like, literally. Like, this is somebody that just want to sleep with y'all. This person could be trying to come back around, talk to you act like they really like you or you know not to say that they don't like you but act like they really want something with you when they don't they just coming in for a good time not a long time okay we clarifying the emperor in the reverse with the empress in the reverse okay and the nine of swords so there's an empress in the reverse here that could be like worried right now because this person was like projecting some negative energy towards you and this person feels like it's being married back to them. This is somebody that's very restless. Whoever this empress in the reverse is, this person is restless. Okay. They could be like um, very depressed as well. Somebody here could be feeling lonely. Somebody here could be isolated in solitude, but not because they want to be. It's because people are walking away from this person. People are leaving this person's life. So this person could be like having falling outs with people. People are just, like, rejecting this person. People don't really want to be around this person. Um, yeah, I'm getting people don't really want to be around this person. Yeah. So this person is feeling lonely. Like, they're not alone by choice. They're not alone and enjoying their own company. This person is codependent. They don't like being alone. They're lonely. I'm telling you, people just keep leaving this person's life. Eight of Cups. Somebody here is walking away from this person, setting themselves free. Nine of Pentacles collected. This could be you. You could have set yourself free from this person 
or this person is sending you the evil eye, they're mad at you because somebody here has uh, separated from them. Yeah, temperance in the reverse. This person could be a Sagittarius, don't have to be, but they can have Sag in a chart. Um, somebody here could be a Virgo, don't have to be, or they can have Virgo in a chart. But somebody here is, is lonely, they sad, they upset, they mad because somebody here has decided to walk away. Tower, Eight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Somebody here is independent, self-sufficient, walking away, never to return again. And this person is feeling haunted. This for, this person is feeling trapped. They feeling bound. They feeling binded. Uh, this person could have been working together with multiple people here to try to sabotage you or destroy your character, slander you, tarnish your image in some way. Um, this person was slandering y'all, gossiping about y'all. Whoever this person is, it's like even the people that was on their side at one point or listening to the shit they were saying have actually like turned on this person. Like they looking at this person as a a hater, a manipulator, a shit starter, somebody that's messy. You know, people are looking at this person like, yo, you're messy. Like, you're the problem. You're actually the problem. Okay? Like, people are seeing this person as being a problem. They're seeing this person as being a bully, a tyrant, somebody that's just very envious, very jealous. Yeah, somebody here's looking at this person like, yo, you ain't shit. I feel, yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Pentacles. That's the truth. I mean, not the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. That's the truth. Ace of Swords. That's the truth. Um, this person toxic as fuck. Like, people don't want to be around this person. This person could be a Virgo, a Capricorn, a Sag. They could have that in a chart. But I'm telling you, somebody here, like, people are looking at this person like, yo, you just a hater, bro. Like, you just a hater. You just, you start shit. Like, you're like a bad seed. This person could also have children. Somebody here could be saying that this person's a bad mother or, like, they need to pay attention to their children. They need to watch their children. Uh, somebody here feels like this person doesn't deserve to have children or deserve to be a mom or somebody here is just looking at this person as like a fuck up. Like the Empress in the reverse, Queen of Cups in the reverse is a bad mother. You know, that is somebody that's a bad mother. This is somebody that can have a bad temper as well. Like maybe they hit their child, but it's not really like, you know, healthy discipline. It's like they may actually like beat their child ass, like for real, like beat their fucking ass, you know? Like, trigger warning, but I'm just saying. This is somebody that projects a lot. So, whoever this Queen of Cups reverse is, this Empress reverse, this person, it's like they're very unhappy with themselves. And they treat people the way they feel about themselves. They're unhappy with themselves. They don't like themselves. So this is somebody that treats other people nasty. They project. That projection is a motherfucker. Like, it's like this person may actually like to point out people's flaws or talk shit about people because they don't like how they look. They don't like themselves. They're unhappy with themselves. Um, this is somebody here that could be going through a lot where, like, they're losing a lot. Like, with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, this person's material harvest is being, like, negatively impacted, for real. Like, somebody here could be losing a lot of, like, money. And, like, this person is just, they're angry. They're angry about their finances. They're angry with their child or their children. They're, they're angry. They're just angry with the world. Like, this somebody that's angry with life. They, they, they're angry with everybody. Yeah, this is somebody here that just feels like nothing is working out in their favor. They feel like they're a loser. Like, this person feels like a loser. Yeah, and they feel like you're a winner. Look, <laughs> collective, whoever you are, you in this Nine of Cups energy. So, you very happy. You happy. You comfortable with self. Like, you comfortable in your own energy and your own skin. Yeah, it's like you're happy-go-lucky. You're a very optimistic person. Yeah, you're showing up as the queen of swords. You could be a Libra, a Gemini, Aquarius. Or you could have that in your chart. You could have strong air in your chart. But you're showing up as someone that's very intelligent. Someone that's very wise. Yeah, this person, it's like they feel like they're losing a lot in their life right now. This person could be going through like a divorce or a breakup as well. They could have recently went through that. This person feels like everything just works out in your favor. Like, it's not fair how, like, 
favored you are or how happy you always are how optimistic you are like this person is like ain't nobody that optimistic ain't nobody that happy like why the fuck you walk around so happy this person is really jealous of like your optimism your good energy your good spirit yeah this person wanted to like knock you down okay take you down a couple notches knock you down that's what i'm hearing take you off your high horse okay yeah, this person was doing magic on y'all. But it got illuminated to you. Yeah, it got illuminated to you. Something here could also be going on with this person's mental health, okay? But this is somebody that feels stagnant. They feel stuck. I'm telling you, they feel like there's no excitement in their life. They're very bored with life. They're very, like, just upset with everything and everybody. Yeah, this is somebody that's really angry about their finances, too. This is somebody that's very lazy as well. Like, this is somebody that could be upset about money, but at the same time, they don't want to work. It's like this person is doing absolutely nothing to help themselves. They do absolutely nothing to complain about whatever it is that's bothering them, you know? They just like to complain, but they don't actually do anything to, like, make changes. Like, shit... They actually have control to change certain shit and they just rather sit and complain and do nothing about it but complain. This is somebody that's burdened. They're their own worst enemy, Ten of Wands. This person is their own worst enemy is what I'm hearing. This person is a thief too. Like they just want shit the easy way. This person is a thief. They like to cloak themselves in other people's energy, steal other people's energy. This person want to take shortcuts, okay? Like, this person just wants... They want somebody to take care of them. They just want shit handed to them. Yeah, this person does a lot of spell work in order to, like, steal from people. Like, to, to like, steal people's, like, to put their light out, to dim their light. Or, you know, to just cloak themselves in other people's energy. This is somebody that likes to cloak themselves. That's what I'm hearing. Excuse me, y'all. Give me a second, y'all. Let me just get myself together. <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. I know y'all don't want to hear this, but uh, it's blowing my nose. But I told you, this is somebody that was sending y'all negative energy, projecting. But this person could have been doing like some form of like real, like some black magic here for real. And I'm telling you, this, like, this is somebody that likes to cloak themselves. They like to steal people's energy. They like to, like, harvest people's energy, siphon people's energy. Cloak themselves. I'm telling you. And it's not working. It's not working. When it comes to you, collective, whoever you are, it's not working. You could have picked up on this. You know that this is what this person is doing. You know that this is what they're trying to do. Yeah, Queen of Swords, you're very intelligent. I feel like don't shit get past you. It's like you picked up on this. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. Because you magical your damn self. Like, this person, they got the game fucked up. You actually outranked this person. Yeah. And this person could have been waiting for you to, like, feel heartbroken. It's like they wanted to reverse, like, swap lives with you or something. Like, the way they feel, they wanted you to feel. And the way you feel, they wanted themselves to feel. It's like this person looked at you as someone that was very happy all the time, very optimistic. And it's like, I want to feel that way. So I'm about to swap it. Like, you about to be depressed and sad and, and um, lonely and, and uh, you know, angry and argumentative and lazy. And, and I'm going to be on top of the world the way you appear to be. Like, what? <laughs> this person heartbroken because this shit did not work. Three of swords. This person knows that this shit did not work. Like, this person is bugging the fuck out now because they really thought this shit was going to work. Maybe at one point they was getting away with it for some of y'all, you know, and, and the tables turned. They ain't getting away with it now. Yeah, you're free. This person is heartbroken because you're free. They're mad because they, they can't do this shit. They're not getting away with this shit. They can't do this. They mad now. Yes, I cannot make it up. This high priest is in the reverse. This person wanted to be you. They wanted to be you. They wanted to possess your energy. They wanted to walk in your light. Somebody here could have even been wanting, like, your gifts. Because some of you are very magical. You're very gifted. This person is not willing to accept the fact that this cycle is, is over. That they cannot cloak themselves in your energy. This person is not willing to accept the fact that everything that they do is getting blocked. This is somebody that just won't take no for an answer. This person is addicted to trying to 
wear your energy, wear your skin, be you. This person is addicted to trying to do some sort of spell work to swap out energies or reverse energies. This person is bugged the fuck out. Whoever this is, they bugged the fuck out, y'all. <laughs> they really are. This person is like fucking themselves up. Like the, it's, it's like extreme self-sabotage. Instead of this person just heal you know work on changing the things that they could be upset about it's like nah i'm gonna just be addicted to attacking so and so because that's the kind of life i want to live or that's the kind of energy i want to be in this person is bugged the fuck out whoever you are collective you could be receiving something here okay some of y'all could be moving okay you could be traveling congratulations safe travels you guys yeah, some of y'all could be moving, traveling, relocating. There's something happy here for you. Something here really good is happening for you, collective. And I feel like this person feels, like, defeated now. It's like they feel... They feel worse than when they... They feel worse than how they felt before all of this shit even took place. Like, this person know that they should have left you alone. They actually regret it, but it's like, I might as well just continue. I might as well just keep trying. I might as well just go out with a bang. Like, that's how somebody feel. Like, they feel like... They know for a fact nothing is going to work here, but they just keep trying and hoping. This person's delusional. Um, yeah, this person just keep, like, projecting. Like, this is somebody that's doing, like, some sort of word magic as well. Setting negative intent, you know, incantations, things like that. It's not working, though. It's not working. Yeah, whoever you are, you healed. This person sees that you healed. They could have been under the impression that something they was doing was working at one point in time. But it's like they know now that it's not working. Like, if they, if they didn't know before, they know now that something ain't working. Because they also feel like something here is backfiring on them or is about to. They're worried that something here is about to backfire. I cannot make it up. I was swords in reverse. Somebody here knows something about to backfire because they feel drained. This person feels drained. They're exhausted. They're tired. They're stressed out. Somebody here knows that something here is happening. Like something here backfires. Something here uh is is coming back around they know this shit yeah five of cups they know this this person could be crying a lot feeling weak feeling tired feeling drained feeling heavy yeah it's like this dark heaviness on them it's like even their body feels weighed down this person could be watching you to see if you feel that way they see that you still good they like yo what the fuck bro like this person is so mad this person is so mad yo it's something here about you having healing energy that this person was trying to... It's like they was trying to heal themselves with your energy. It's not working here. Yep, judgment got called in this situation. You damn skippy. Judgment got called in this situation. This shit is not working. Somebody here has actually lost their gifts or their protection. Yeah, if this person had any gifts, they lost their gifts for coming for you. Yeah, they did. They did. If this person had any protection, it's like... It's up from here. Like, anything goes with this person... Their own ancestors could be turning their back on this person because their ancestors could have warned them, like, just leave that person alone. Just leave them alone. And they just wouldn't leave you alone. So their ancestors is like, listen, baby, I can't save you. Whatever judgment, whatever, whatever's about to happen with you, however you, whatever experiences you about to go through, I ain't going to be able to help you, baby. We, we tried to, you know, we was, we was, we was giving you the signs. We was trying to connect with you. You was just stubborn. You was hard headed. You ain't wanna. You ain't wanna hear what we had to say. You ain't wanna stop attacking somebody. That's on you. You know, somebody here like somebody ancestors like yo. That's on them. Like I hate to I hate to see what you about to go through, but you ain't listen to us. Like somebody here was getting signs to like stop or that something wasn't a good idea or it wasn't working. Even if they was working with other people, they could have even been seeing how other people was. You know failing at coming for you and it's like they didn't take any of that into consideration they was like nah fuck that i got a point to prove i got a point to prove to myself it's like all right go ahead now i'm telling y'all somebody here they know they fucked up y'all somebody here know they fucked up y'all I promise you. Oh, that's good. Somebody here knows. They know for a fact that they have fucked up. 
Yeah, they know. They know, you know. They definitely know, y'all. All right, collective. This was your tea message for tonight. Okay, take what resonated, leave what didn't. Somebody needed to hear that. All right, I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.